guys and welcome back to my weekly real estate 101 video. I am Marissa Lott and I am with Weikert Realtors. I work in the mid-Michigan area and today this video is about inspections. Um, an inspection is paid for by you as a buyer and a buyer can pay anywhere from 300 to 600 on the inspection. It just depends. Uh, inspections are not mandatory. They are completely optional and inspections can be, I shouldn't say they are not always uh, mandatory, they can be mandatory for well and septic situations depending on the county that you're in. But as far as just for your home um, and home inspection, those are not mandatory, those are completely optional. And when you have an inspection done, the inspector will go to the property and inspect everywhere. So they will go on the exterior of the home as well as the interior of the home from roof to basement, they'll even get in the attic and a crawl space if, if there is a crawl space and not a basement. And they will go and write, at the end of the inspection, they will write a report uh, that will either be given to you written or it can be given to you digitally in your email. But you'll get a report at the end of it that will have all of the things about the property that are, I guess, not as they should be, I, I, I would say. So that can be anything minor from maybe a small uh, drip on a faucet to something major like maybe a foundation issue. You can make your offer as a buyer. You can make your offer contingent on a satisfactory inspection, which means you can write an offer on a property and then if you have that verbiage in there, if you don't like what the inspector has to say, you can back out from purchasing that property. Um, you can also, utilize that inspection period. So there's always like a time frame of an inspection period when you have that contingency. You can also use that time frame to negotiate um, instead of backing out uh, of a deal if it's not anything really major. What I recommend is negotiating some things. So let's for example say that the dishwasher is not working and on the inspection report it does say that. You can have your agent write an addendum that will state the dishwasher is to be either repaired and working or completely replaced, brand new, by close date. So that way you have a working dishwasher uh, that you, you, know, you signed up for and you put in your offer, so that's what you wanted and agreed to. You can have that done by closing. Um, um, inspections do not pass or fail. I get that question a lot as well from buyers. You know, are they, is it going to pass? Is it going to fail? Um, inspections don't pass or fail. Again, it's completely optional and that information is just all for you um, and do with it what you will. Uh, it is not a pass or fail situation. And that is it. So let me know if you have any questions. You can post a comment and I will answer. You can check out my website for more information, more tips. You can check out my other videos on the channel. Uh, my website is www.marissalot.com and go ahead and subscribe. You can get alerted when I post more real estate topics, um, videos and tips and everything real estate related that I post about. And go ahead and like this video too, guys. Thank you. See you next week.